YouTube, YouTube, what up? Look, man, we're going to get you guys right with the Set of Course of Content Manager. I've been getting way too many questions. Yo, Sautés, can you help me download these mods? Yo, Sautés, yo, Sautés. All this information is on YouTube, bruh. YouTube is a search engine. When y'all was a kid and y'all had to dress up and y'all didn't know how to tie a tie, you looked up how to tie a tie on YouTube, right? All right, bro. Look up how to look up them damn mods on fucking... On, um... Man, just man, just use YouTube, bro. Like, come on, bro. What the fuck is wrong with you, nigga? But nah, look, listen. I'm gonna show you guys how to download one of my favorite maps right now, and I'm gonna show you guys how to download Content Manager. Now, you already have to have a set of Corsa, the base game of a set of Corsa, and you have to be on PC. So, to all my console boys, I apologize, but you cannot do all this no hezzy cut up pushing P. Um, you know what I'm saying? Free maps are, you know what I'm saying? Different maps on the setup, man. Sorry. This is for my PC boys only. Are right, y'all ready? Let's get into it. All right, first, what you're going to want to do after you already have your a set of course, or make sure you already booted up on your computer, because sometimes we run into issues where it's not booted up and, you know, things like that. So make sure you already booted up your set of course on your computer. And make sure you know where to find your, your files for it. Now, if you're on Steam, there's an easy way to find out where your Assetto Corsa root folder is. You go to your Steam library, search up Assetto Corsa. You go to manage, browse local files. And basically, this address right here is how you find it. So this is in my C drive, program files, x86, Steam, Steam Maps, Commons, Assetto Corsa. So this is where my game is located, all right? So now we're gonna search up here. Content manager a set of course. acstuff.ru download directly. Boom. So once you, you got the zip file, you're gonna unzip it. You're gonna unzip it and extract it. I already have it. All right. So since I already have it, I'm going to boot it up for you guys. And I'm going to show you, I already showed you where to put your, a set of course, a root folder, right? So you would just go in here and now you have content manager. So anything mod related, all the cars you download, all the maps that you download will be in here, will be, you will launch it from here. Or if you're in someone's Discord, I know Pushing P has a Discord where you 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 load into the Discord. Let's see where's Pushing P. You will load it into the Discord. You will go to their server, and they will give you a server address. So let's say I want to cut up on Shotoku. They'll say always allow open content manager. And then it'll open your content manager and you'll be able to get in. So I'm missing the car, right? So this is the perfect opportunity to show you guys how to download a car. You go back to the Discord. Now, some Discords are more... Yeah, bro, I ain't gonna lie. Some Discords are more neat with their stuff and some aren't, all right? But you go to single car downloads, RS3R, or you go to the individuals. Right, so the car that I am missing is the RS3R 2022, which is that one that they put in the Discord. Since they just updated it, they already knew people were gonna be missing it, so he just puts it right there. Boom, all right. So, this is the car, it brings you to the page. The download link is right here. Click the download link, download, download anyway, and it's gonna give you a 7 zip file. Now, what I usually do, and I mean, I'm a sloppy person when it comes to files, bro. This stays in my download folder, but I just take it, drag it, take it, drag it, put it in my content manager and just drop it in. Now, in this corner, you see this, this thing moving right here. You want to click that. You want to click that and it's going to tell you you have the new car. You install the new car. I'm saying successfully installed. So now when I boot up the server again, 
public servers, SRP one, open content manager. Now I can get in if there wasn't 15 people already on the server. So now I'm not missing the car anymore and I'll be able to, to get online, all right? So another thing is the maps. Certain maps you're able to drag and drop as well, just from that download thing from whatever internet browser you're using. But sometimes there's different things to them. So I know for the PCH, PCH map, for a set of there's an actual different way that he wants you to install it so once you unzip unzip it after downloading it cool. so here's the map pacific coast 1.0 you would click download in the top right it gives you a 7-zip file now this is a long ass file bro so i'm gonna just cancel it and i'm gonna show you guys in my download all right all right so this is one that you will drag and drop all right this one doesn't have special instructions i'm a goofy and i forgot which one has special instructions this la canyons which is kind of like a zuza Angeles Crest, like all that stuff. If you're a SoCal native and you Canyon Run, you know what I'm talking about. But there's like install guide and it tells you how to install it and boom. It tells you to go into where you have your root folder, throw it in there and you should be fine. You can't drag and drop. But that's all to it. You have the maps, you have the cars and you know how to click the links um there isn't really much else to teach you guys how to like download or how to install all this stuff is really like simple bro um if you want to download additional mods obviously that creator will tell you how to download their mods you know if people want you on their server they'll tell you how to download and get to their server there's instructions in all these people's discords and if you just want to sit there and play a map and play a car by yourself, it's as easy as a Google search of searching whatever car you want or whatever car pack you want. There's different websites. I'll list some websites down below where you can get different things. Um, Brace Department is by far the number one website that most of these people use. Now, a lot of these people will use Patreon and get you guys to pay for stuff. Like I know the Peer Config that makes your game look very, very realistic with the water on the floor and stuff. That is actually paid. It makes you pay for that monthly. Now you can pay for it once, but you won't get every update of the Peer Config. So take that with a grain of salt. But look, that's how you do it. I appreciate all you guys. Make sure you like, comment, share subscribe send this to your boys if they want to get on content manager with you and look listen i got some aceto content coming out boys so sub up and be ready for that content peace take my hand why don't you follow me yeah